This is Jenna from the QuickBooks team. Company settings is where you enter basic info about your business, like your contact and tax information. This info is used when you communicate with customers and vendors from QuickBooks. Let's go over how to add your logo and record things like your business address and phone number so they'll be included in communications. To get started, go to Settings and select Accountant Settings. These are your company settings. Let's start with your logo. Select this box to upload your company's logo. After you upload it, QuickBooks automatically adds it to invoices or whenever you email or print something for your customers, like statements. This is also where you can change your company name, which shows up on printed or emailed sales forms and purchase orders. If your legal name, which appears on tax forms, is different, check this box and enter it as well. This way, your customers can see one name, but your legal information is still captured on official documents in QuickBooks. The last part of this section lets you enter your federal employer identification number or social security number. In the company type section, choose the tax form you use when filing your yearly taxes. And you can also record what industry your business is in. Entering your contact information helps get customers in touch with you. If your company email ever changes, just change it in this field. When you send something to your customers, it will usually include your company email. But if you have a different email you'd like customers to contact you at, uncheck this box and enter it in the customer-facing email field. If you enter your company's phone number and website, you can also include them whenever you communicate with customers or vendors. Your company address is important because QuickBooks uses it to calculate taxes, like the sales tax you charge customers and state payroll taxes. It's also usually included whenever you send a sales form or purchase order. If you want customers to send payments or write back to you at a different address, though, uncheck this checkbox and enter your customer-facing address. You can also have a different address that's used whenever you file your taxes. Now you're ready to set up your own company settings in QuickBooks.